Hey, shout. Look, there's the flat iron. Samuel, hi. Welcome to my Monday. Here, they make nice art, art in here. Philly, how are you? There's always changing what's going on in this little space. It's a tiny little triangle. See, there's Fifth Avenue on that side. Hi, Mike. Yeah, I just finished. Let's see, almost, that's 11 and a half hours. <laughs> hey, Casey. So yeah, this little space is always being revamped for something. I guess they do interviews here. How are you, Casey? Long day, but I, I'm almost wrapped up this little project. I know, I'm sorry. Today I was, what happened today? I was a little bit early. I'm usually later. I'm glad, Casey. Everybody should be okay. Even better than okay. Hi, hi, Issa. So we're walking down Broadway again, as usual. Look at that great dog picture. Hey, Skipper. Ooh, ooh, look at that puppy. Shot on the iPhone. <laughs> You've been trying to load up your IG? What's that? Hi, Lily. Look, here's my favorite makeup. Although I'm not wearing any right now. It's actually my favorite lipstick. When they make an eyeliner that's removable. Instagram. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Mac. No, I'm sorry. I don't speak that. I don't even know what language that is. Russian? Privit? I only speak that few words in Russian. <laughs> but I think that was more Cyrillic. Anyway. No, but everybody keeps telling me to get an Instagram, so maybe I will, because then I can show cool pictures like those two water, water um, cool towers. These are iconic to New York City, you know. Ah, uh, salut Lisa. Très bien, et toi? Oh, I forgot to show you the Empire State Building. See, I saw it in the reflection. There it is, turning its lights on. Why? You were kind of the same. It's, see, here's the reflection behind me. Empire State Building. I, I guess... I guess, Mike, I really have never explored that. Hi, R. The stories, I have no idea at all what Instagram is, so I will have to learn about it. It's almost more than I can handle is Twitter. <laughs> well, Twitter and Periscope. And I don't even do anything on Twitter, it's just a place for my Periscopes. Which, by the way, I didn't notice they were not posting for a while. You have to press a little Twitter button to have it post on your Twitter feed. Wine. Actually, I pretty much don't drink too much wine anymore. You can go live with Instagram? Really? Aw, but then I'll miss my Periscope. Friends. Hi, Spider. Hi, Marguerite. I need more hours in a day, I know. It's so funny, I have a little song at the end of the day that comes on my sh phone at 9.45 that goes, la la la. And it sa that's basically, it says, if I go to bed right then, I'll have the right amount of sleep. And it's so funny, because I just am walking in the door. These guys have the most amazing pastries, especially the um, almond croissants. The day is great in New York. They also have really amazing food. But you know, the salads are twelve sixty. Hi Conta. But look at this. Periscope. Yeah, I think Instagram I always thought that was just pictures. Don't you wanna eat everything? But the almond croissants are like the most amazing. 
I can't get any right now because I didn't eat dinner. <laughs> I'll come in the morning. <laughs> Thank you. You too. I know. If you ever see one of these, Eric Kaiser, Boulanger, Paris. Like, so for example, Hi, FF. Yeah, I mean, oh gosh, I do want to eat it all. But now that I fit into my super skinny clothes, I'm not sure I want to start gaining weight again. Come move to New York and you can eat all those yummy things. But honestly, it's too tempting if you start eating too much sugar. It's kind of all you want to eat. There's, lo there's very few nice restaurants where you are, Samuel. There's lots of nice restaurants here. This is Ethan Allen, by the way. Hi, Kondra. Oh, thank you for inviting people. If they like to see New York, very few there. We have tons and tons of great restaurants here. I just really don't go out too much to take advantage of them because for two reasons. One, it's expensive. And two, you know, it's tricky to eat it by yourself. It's not really tricky, but... Oh, thanks, Kantra. Welcome, Max. Hi, R. I do go to Soho when I'm on my bicycle. You can always eat out alone in New York City. I shouldn't make that impression. But um, it seems easier to just buy organic food and cook it in my house because I'm right next to Whole Foods. Hi, Sene. Do I do takeout? Not really. Again, I mean, I basically just buy my food at Whole Foods and cook it at home most of the time. Every once in a while, there's a place called Bear Burger that has organic um, hamburgers and everything organic. No. <laughs> no, Lily, I like meat. Hi, Regan. Hi, Kraft. I, I think we need meat. I know it's mean, but unless we live in a um, world where we have stores that will give us the right proteins. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sure. Took a three-hour nap. Fires adored, yeah. Uh, it's tricky to get the right nutrition being vegan, although I just saw an article about that and somebody freaked out and said they could too. Hi, Gino. This is Broadway. Oops, what happened? Hi, R. Did I, are you oopsing because I jaywalked? Nobody cares. <laughs> Swipe out, oh, okay. Hi, Marcel. Here's a movie theater which has amazing smelling popcorn when you walk by. Mm. I just go to the movies just so I can have popcorn. Hi, Mara, Mava, Mavara, Mavava. And anybody else, if you joined in and I missed your name, I apologize. New York is improving. Oh, yeah, Broadway shows are great. I, last one I saw was, I think, Chicago, when a friend of mine came to town. I love movie popcorn. I mean, I do make popcorn at home, but it just doesn't taste the same. I mean, it tastes pretty good, <laughs> but it doesn't have that movie popcorn thing. Hi, Seventeen. Hi, somebody else just joined in. This is ABC Windows. Am I going to watch Hamilton? No. Again, a lot of my activities are based on finances. So, uh, one Broadway show is over $100. Are you leaving? Oh, Skipper, have a great night. Thanks for stopping in. It's always nice to see you. See your name, hear your, hear your voice via typing. <laughs> it's expensive. I mean, New York is expensive to live in to begin with, so, you know, just paying your basic bills. No, I'm not in the finance business. If I was, I'd probably be able to afford things like that. Hi, I'm. I'm a big fan of flowers, though. Welcome, Flat. Hi, Mohammed. Hi, Spiders. 
and then look at these guys, and then I have to keep walking. Wait, I have to get them in focus. There we go. I just find them really miraculous flowers. So if just living in New York to pay your basic bills of food, rent, um, travel, you know, because I take the subway every morning, it's three dollars every single time I take the subway. Um, if I go back and forth every day, that's three times um, ten. That's thirty dollars a week right there. Oh, thanks, Samuel. I'll see you again soon, I hope. Hi, Alf. Hi, anybody, if you joined. I'm sorry if I missed your name. Sometimes I'm staring at something else. Three dollars is a lot. Twice a day, that's six. If you eat out, that's a $15 lunch usually, 10 to $15. So you basically spend $20 just getting to work and having lunch. So I basically... Hi, Mar Mark. I can't read that name. I'm sorry. Welcome. I'm your friend. <laughs> Anybody's. As long as you're nice. It's so nice out. Who's there? Hi, Al. Hi, La. La, La. Oh, for the subway? Yeah, it's twice that here. Let's walk by this restaurant. I'm always looking at it from a distance. I'm trying to take off my jacket at the same time. It's really hot out here. It's like 80 degrees, and I'm wearing an inside power suit. So I had a power suit and, uh, meeting today. Hold on. There's one of the last bookstores in the neighbor. Mars Han. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's really hard to read the teeny tiny letters, especially in this um, dusk, evening, night, light. Uh, favorite restaurant depends on what kind of food. We've got Italian, French, Spanish, oops, Mexican. I'm taking my coat off, sorry. Yeah, that's Barnes & Noble. That's literally one of the last bookstores that you can... Except for the Strand. Hi, Gigi. What is name? Mars Hannah. Oh, my name is Jane Daisy. Hi. Look at this great restaurant here. Sometimes they have ballroom dancing here, but now finally somebody got a restaurant permit. Which is surprising because this is a public park, so... I don't know how they got around that. But it's pretty, right? Hi, Ty. The pavilion. Maybe they pay a lot of taxes to the city. Mmm, smells good. Hi, Ohio. I made, I made yummy chicken last night, though, so I'm gonna go home and eat chicken. There's the W. That's a pretty famous hotel. And they have a really great bar on the bottom. Hi, Manchester. Politics? Kazakhstan, hi. Um, I've been to Shake Shack a couple of times just for a beer because trying to wait for lunch there is too much. Oh, politics for the, for the restaurant, yeah. Somebody got there. Somebody else had something else there and it was shut down because of that same reason. It was a public park and people thought about it, but this one has been there for a while now, so. So this is the other side of the park. I usually don't come down this way. Let's go down the middle. Expo 2017. I went to the Expo 2000 in Frankfurt in Germany. Kazakhstan. Let's see, they're watering the plants. This is evening. If I were going to be here later, you'd get to see fireflies, if you've never seen them. Lawn hours, 11 to 7, and no smoking in the park. Russia, Privit. Hi, Ludo. Yes, this is New York City, just like I pictured it. So people are just enjoying an evening out in the park. And I'm going to look at these, look at these flowers. <gasps> That's like bigger than my head. 
Can you imagine that? Hi, Melba. Like, if you tried to draw that, you couldn't even. Your mother is New York. Hi, Manchester. She's in New York or from New York? You speak better English than I speak Russian. That's for sure. Look, in that place right there is this great show called um, Fuerza Bruta. No, I don't speak that, I'm sorry. It's this great acrobatic show where everybody's over your head. It's amazing, actually. So there's, there's shows throughout New York. Hi, Rick. There's shows in New York that aren't on Broadway, and that's one of them. If it's still there, wait. Something else is there. Something is an illusion. Hi, Contra. Welcome back. So this is Union Square Park, by the way. Hi, Mars Hen. And um, this is called Union Square Park because this is where the unions all organized when they were making marches. There was actually a Broadway play about a strike when everybody was on strike one time. Hi, TYC. And at the end, the lead character like puts his hand in the air and goes, strike, strike, strike. And he starts walking down the center aisle. And most of the attendees were union workers. And they all started following him. So he ended up walking down Broadway or somewhere uh, to Union Square. Please, my face. Oh, I show my face at the end because people will cut it out uh, and people get cut out if I show it. So this is where a lot of times people gather. I'll try to find a reflection. It's, it's, I don't really focus on me for these though. Hi, TYC, are you getting knocked out? Or are you just jumping around to different scopes? Look, that's a really pretty art thing here. And then at the top is this hand sticking out that I didn't see for several years. Look, <laughs> you just see it from the side, really. I'll try to show it to you from the side. And that number is a clock. 2027, that means it's 827. I know, look at the hand. I never noticed that either. Who's that, Lily? Yeah, it was crazy. I was walking by it. And there's a hand sticking out. I can't show you. When I get to the other side, I'll show you. <laughs> and I've been looking at that thing for a long time. Hi, Rachel. And it was so like, wait, what? What is that? It's an interesting art piece because it's sort of like, is it a record player? Is it like a drum and a drumstick? I don't know. And then there's this hand. How are you, Rachel? Hi, I'm Dennis. Okay, I'm going to show you that hand. Well done. We went on the shop. All right. Okay, here, look. Hi, Frank. <laughs> Hi, Peter. I mean, it's sort of like a magic thing that was there this whole time and I never saw it. And then I did. And it was like, how did I never see that before? How are you, Frank? It is getting dark. You're in Michigan? Oh, cool. Hi, Rachel. Woo! That's smoky. Birmingham, England. UK in the house. Okay, here's another big movie theater. This has a lot of theaters in it. Hi, study. Slutty. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Peter. Hi, Lily. Hi, Rachel. I'm so glad you enjoy. This place is called Max Brenner. Chocolate by the bald man.
Hi, Sid. Look, they have vats of chocolate in those two things that are stirring. I sometimes go in there. They have a restaurant. It's kind of closing up right now, though. It is cool. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I love to show New York. And here's another Maison Kaiser. Honestly, if you ever get a chance or see one of these places, come here and buy this. This almond croissant. They are so amazing. They're four dollars. <laughs> but everything in here is amazing. Hey Peter. It is so yum. Oh. Have I tried the donut plant? Oh, might have, but not in a long time. I was there a while ago with people who are visiting. Or maybe it was we were looking at the bagel factory, maybe. Hey Mish. But yeah, it is getting dark. The sun has set. iPhone makes it look a lot lighter out here than it is. How are you, Misha? And this is still Broadway. Oh, there's my shadow. Hello, shadow. Here's real estate if you want to see what it costs to live in New York. It's about 8.30. This is $749,000 for uh, two bed blossoms in Brooklyn. It's in Brooklyn. That's why it's cheaper. This is two bedroom in Bed-Stuy, which is a really scary neighborhood for $2,300 a month. This one is to buy on the Upper West Side for $1,895,000. This one is two bed, 2.5 bathroom for 2,500,000. Um, let's see, where is this one? Union Square, Gramercy Park. So two, two and a half million for a two bedroom. That's actually not that bad, if you had that money. This is Bryant Park, one and 1.12 1. million for uh, one bedroom, I think, or a studio. I don't know. I'm always trying to figure that out. Pre-war condo, two million two hundred seventy-five thousand. Two bedroom, but that is in Soho. Featured from Connecticut, eleven million two hundred thousand. Look, that big castle thing on almost like the private island, but there's other houses there. I will take two. <laughs> yeah, I need to. I have a rent-stabilized apartment. That's the only reason I can afford to live in Manhattan. Is New York City the most expensive in America? Um, hi, DC. Mm, I don't. I don't know. Maybe parts of Manhattan, but you have Westchester, which is the richest county in the in the country. That's north of Manhattan. So if you're really, really rich, what you usually have is a house in Westchester, a beach house out on Long Island, and a, an apartment in Manhattan. Oh, there's the Empire State Building. Uh, rent stabilized means they are only legally allowed to raise the rent in small increments every year. You are, so you know Bed, you know Westchester then. Um, this is the Strand. It has 18 miles of books. I never usually walk around, but I'm walking around today, so I'll bring you inside. I don't know. I might lose you guys, though, so we'll see. They have all brand new books and old books and bookshelves like a library. Fairfield, Virginia. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, when people have money, they just want to have big, giant houses. Puppy! So this is the biggest big bookstore in New York. I like the aisles with all the old books. Americana. Yeah, Greg, I just got out of work. 11 and a half hours today. 8.30 to 8.00. 
that's the way life is. History. Anyways, there's a lot of books here. Hi, Riyadh. Just quickly show you. And there's two other floors, too. Um, right now, I haven't been reading much because I started writing. And the minute you start writing, you don't have a minute to read. So, I'm actually have on my plate like some formatting projects that have to be done before I can get back to working on my sequel so um I don't get OT no they've split it into two different positions so even though I'm working for the same company they're two different rates yeah this bookstore is amazing so that's the way it goes. Um, I used to write a lot of poetry, and then I started writing a novel, which took me like five years, two and a half years to write it, and two and a half to edit it. And that ended me up in Egypt, actually, to finish writing it. <laughs> Muy bueno, hola. Uh, that was called The Strand Bookstore called WH Smith. Cool. Hi, Nando. The Mexico. Hola. Como estas? Hi, Michelle. There's the bean. Ben's cookies. Oh, nobody wants any Ben's cookies. They look good, though. It's hard to have a whole store just with one product, though. Yeah, you know it. Hola. Spider. Used books are good. Outside they have bins of, of dollar to three dollar books. Cafe bin. Why Egypt? Uh, half of the book was set in ancient Egypt. It was kind of a time traveler. Hi McMurrows! Hi! <laughs> Long time. Uh, I self-published it. So... Here's a Halloween. I don't know, I thought I was gonna write a book about ghosts and all of a sudden it, like Egypt kept coming up and that whole myth of Isis and Osiris and it was really cool. It just dragged me into it. I know, how are you? You can tell I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> same old, same old. Uh, I did have it on Kindle, but I took it off Kindle because I just, I felt like nobody was buying it anyway, so I was like, why am I putting it for, like, no money? So now it's basically a hard, uh, only in hard, in a paperback format, and I put the price at, like, 16 bucks because I was like, well, if nobody's buying it anyway, I'm just going to put it there and wait till I write my sequel. Because I was going to revamp it and change the title. Yeah, the moon was up there. Hi, TYC. You keep jumping in and out. I hope everything's okay. So, the title is really unfortunate because it has the word Isis in it. Yeah. I know. It's fine. It's a first novel. I was super proud of finishing it. It's like 400 pages, and I think it made great sense, but better than I was, but I agree. It looks busy. Yeah, this is a busy part of the city. Uh, it stays busy down here all night long because the clubs and bars stay open until 4 in the morning, and then, but at like 2 in the morning, the trucks start coming to bring stuff supply trucks from upstate and and across the river so this part of town is always pretty busy if you go to like the upper east side there will be very fewer people walking around who's that peter oh hi hi golden doggy <gasps> more of these giant flowers the moon has, the mooch has gone. Oh, <laughs> that was so funny. That guy was there for like a blink of an eye. He was so, he was so Long Island, I can't even tell you. 
There's the moon. I thought you said the moon is gone. But yeah. <laughs> I saw that in the news or a headline and email. Tengo nueve años. Ah, no para leer si, si rápido. I don't know, no, no hablo muy muy bueno. Entonces, es muchas palabras para mí, para Liera. <laughs> Excuse me, les fotas. Excuse my fault. Hi, T.Y. Uh, no, we're way far south of the Bronx. We're in the East Village, which to my mind is the best part of New York City. We have more clubs and bars and restaurants here than anywhere. It's like the party part of town. That's why I live here, actually. Not that I do it, but... Hey, MC. Yeah, there's the moon. I don't mind seeing everybody around me having a good time. Put it that way. I'd rather live in a, in a busy neighborhood. Oh, I have a low battery. So listen, I'm gonna go. Here's me. For anybody who doesn't know me. Hi. Happy Monday. Te llamo. Entonces, adios a la próxima vez. Good night, everybody. Thank you for coming and joining and taking a little walk with me. I apologize if I missed anybody's name or anything anybody said. It was not on purpose. Caught between the moon and New York City. In a New York minute. It's true. Aw, I'm glad, Peter. I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Thanks for joining. Bonsoir. Adios. Buenas noches. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye.